biggest changes in, in the facelift surgery are several to do with the surgery itself and maybe even more so the preparation before surgery and the aftercare. We now have all of our patients uh, see three uh, of our staff in our office, both the plastic surgeon, uh, one of our estheticians, and one of our aesthetic nurses. The reason for that is we want all the patients to be on a really quality skincare program and also we want them to find out and learn more about the non-invasive options such as Botox and fillers uh, and the possibility for having say chemical peels in the office as an option so they can compare that to uh, the requirement for a face and neck lift. So all of our patients today uh, should see several of our uh, members here in our practice. We call this the Face 360 Consult and I believe it's a fairly unique uh, program in the Mid-Atlantic area. Uh, also, the surgical changes have been primarily those of recognizing that the facelift itself uh, is not enough for most patients. They may need some grafting of, say, fat, for example, to fill out areas of the face that have lost volume. They may need, at the time of surgery, some type of resurfacing, such as a light chemical peel or a more aggressive laser or some other type of procedure to enhance the quality of the skin as well as the lifting the tissues back to where they used to be.